What's happening, y'all? So lately, I've been getting a lot more requests for how to make more vegan protein shakes. So that's what we're about to do today. The easy chocolate peanut butter protein shake. You can have this when you need to gain weight, when you want to lose weight. It's all about the amounts and the calories, all right? So I'm about to share this with you all. Like the video first. If you want to see more of these, share it with a friend that you think would enjoy it. And then comment below what you want to see next. All right, let's get to it. All right, so for this specific chocolate peanut butter protein shake, the total calories are going to be 512. 75.4 grams of carbs, 12.9 grams of fats, and then 35 grams of protein. Now you can increase those calories and add more ingredients if you want to bulk up and gain some size. You can also decrease those calories so it can be more of a snack if you're trying to lose fat. So now let's go ahead and go over the ingredients. We got our base, which is the unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I use the unsweetened because it contains less calories than the sweetened. Unsweetened is roughly about 30 calories per cup. The sweetened is about 90 calories per cup, so that saves you about 60 calories. After that, we got our bananas. I'm only gonna use one banana, and that's roughly about 100 or 110 calories. Then we got our wild blueberries. That's terms of nutrient benefits with blueberries, all the antioxidants. They're just basically superfoods. Then we got our protein powder. This is the Orgain's chocolate fudge protein powder. We're gonna use two scoops of this. Then we're gonna add our chia seeds for the omega-3s, the omega-6, the potassium, the magnesium, all the benefits that come with chia seeds. Now this is key right here. This is how you get that peanut butter flavor without all those peanut butter calories, right? So this is peanut butter powder. Now it's not the exact same, but it does contain less than half the calories that come with peanut butter. So if you're a fan, like I'm a fan of peanut butter, you might wanna hop on this. I wonder how many times I just said peanut butter. I don't know, maybe I'll count later. But yeah, hop on this. 70 calories per serving, as opposed to the 200 calories per serving that peanut butter itself contains. So go to your local Jewel or Kroger or whatever your local grocery store is and grab some of this. I was gonna throw in some oats, but honestly, I don't really need them. I may add in a few just to make it a little bit thicker, but we'll see. I'll decide in a few, all right? I'm gonna give y'all a quick food scale tutorial. When you're using a food scale, the first thing you want to do is whatever you're going to be using to measure out to your item is put that on first. So that way the food scale doesn't weigh the amount that this contains. And I'll show you what I mean by that. When you turn the food scale on, it takes the weight of the cup, which you don't want that. But if you do do it this way, you can always just hit zero and that'll reset the number. First, we're going to start off with one cup of almond milk. That's also the equivalent to 240 grams. So I'm going to pour. If it's a couple grams off, that's fine. No big deal. All right. Now we're gonna do the Orgain's protein powder. You really don't need to weigh it out. It really comes with its own scooper and you just use two scoops of that, but I'm gonna just go ahead and show you all weigh it out anyways. And one serving size is 46 grams, which is also two scoops. So right there we have 47. All right, so that's that. We have our blueberries. One serving of blueberries is 146 grams. Um, I may use a little bit less than that. I'm gonna use 60 grams. Next, we got our chia seeds, and we'll be using 10 grams of this. Whoops. One serving size is 12 grams, 60 calories, but we're gonna use a little bit less than that. 10 grams. All right, so next we got our peanut butter powder. One serving size of this is two tablespoons, which is the equivalent of 16 grams. 16 grams is 70 calories. So let's go ahead and pour this out. Okay, so that's a little bit too much. I'm gonna go ahead and drip a little bit back up in there. Boom, perfect. Last but not least, we got our banana. We really don't need to weigh this out. We're gonna use one medium banana, but just for y'all viewing purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and show this. So reset the scale, so this is at zero. Set that right on top. That's 143 grams, all right? So what I'm gonna do is break a little piece off and we're gonna use 119 grams. So now let's go ahead and get started adding the ingredients to the blender. We're gonna start off with the almond milk. I always put the almond milk as your base first, the protein powder. Next up, we're gonna add in the PB2, the peanut butter powder. Now we're gonna add in the chia seeds. 
Then we're gonna add the bananas and then the wild blueberries. So y'all go ahead and try this and let me know what you think. Like the video, leave a comment down below and share it with somebody that you think may enjoy it. And if you need help with losing fats and building muscle on a plant-based diet, click the link in my bio and go ahead and book a call with me and I'll help you get you to your ideal body goals. Talk to y'all later.